I am Anil Kumar and here is a test question on radian measurements. Two gears work together. The smaller gear has radius of 5 cm and the larger gear has radius of 12 cm. Determine the number of radians that the larger gear rotates when smaller gear rotates 5 pi by 3 radians. I like you to pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. So let us first sketch and try to understand the situation. Let us say this is our first gear, the smaller one, and then we have a big gear here, right? So this is our big gear. Now it is given to us that the smaller gear, which is of radius 5, and the bigger gear is of radius, uh, let us say radius of uh, 12, right? So that is the radius given to us. Uh, we'll write 5 for the small one and 12 for the big one. Now it says determine the number of radians that the larger gear rotates when smaller gear rotates 5 pi by 3, right? So 5 pi by 3 is the rotation for the smaller one. Now in that case, how much will the larger one rotate? Well, the important thing here is that since these are the gears, then the arc length will be kind of same, right? So if that is the arc, A is the arc length for smaller gear, then A will also be the arc length for the bigger gear, right? So what we know here is that the radius for smaller gear, let me call this as uh, gear one, and we are calling this as gear two. So radius for gear one is five, and angle rotation for one is 5 pi by 3. So the arc A is R times theta. So it is R times theta. So that arc is 5 times 5 pi by 3. Is that okay? So that is the arc length. However, for the bigger gear, what we know here is that radius R is equals to 12 centimeters, right? All are in centimeters in this case. Okay, and we need to find theta, we need to find theta, but we know arc length, which is 5 times 5 times pi by 3, right? So what is this arc length? So we know A is r theta, so we can write this as 5 times 5 times pi by 3 is equals to 12 times theta 2, right? So that is how we can get a relation, a equals to r theta. And from here, we can solve for theta, right? So when you solve for theta, this is getting divided by 12, right? So we have 5 times 5 times pi divided by 12 times 3, which is the angle theta 2 in radians, right? So you can write this as 5 times 5 is 25 and 36 pi radians. So that will be our answer. And I hope the method is absolutely clear to you, right? So we have just used relation A equals to R theta to solve this particular question, right? I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.